in the beginning there was light and light really is what makes life on this planet possible and the applications of light and the mystery of light whether it's a particle or a wave that's something that had always fascinated me my research is in nonlinear optics and lasers. One area of nonlinear optics that I'm studying right now is called stimulated Brahma scattering, and that's the interaction of light with sound. So when you send an intense light wave through an optical fiber, it can actually generate this very high frequency acoustic wave through a process called electrostriction. The sound wave or acoustic wave that's generated can then reflect the light that's being sent into the fiber and then scatters the light back. So that's stimulated Brahman scattering. I'm teaching this graduate course called Optical Waves and Crystals. In that course, we learn how to manipulate light using crystals. For example, if you have information on an electrical signal and you apply that electrical signal to the crystal, you can transfer that information on the electrical signal to the light wave. So the light wave then carries that signal. What I like about teaching is you know, being able to communicate my passion for a subject to them, get them excited enough, interested enough, curious enough that they'll be asking questions and watching their eyes light up. The UArts class, and so I teach the engineering section and I collaborate with colleagues from art, from music, architecture, and even dance. The students rotate, they learn about the nature of creativity, and they learn how to tap into their own uh, creative muse. A couple of years ago, the students who organized the TEDx came to my office because someone had suggested that I might be a good candidate to give a TEDx talk. I said, well, sure, why not? I decided I should talk about this UArts course. It's broad, it's different, it's not like any other course that's taught at the university. And then I also talked about my passion for music. And at the end, I actually even played my own composition on stage in front of 1,500 people in Power Center. Ah, Maxwell's equations. What I love about it is the beautiful symmetry and also how they predict so many things and how they've never been proven wrong. And they describe all kinds of phenomena ranging from radio waves to electric motors and generators all the way up to light waves. And these waves are what connect us. I think engineering is such a creative endeavor. It's also so, such an important endeavor. It's a field that can make lives better in the health industry, transportation, in communications, in energy. So there's no field of human endeavor, no important field that cannot be improved by engineers.